Good day mga ka-teacher Chris TV. Nagbabalik ang ating YouTube channel para ulit sa isang lesson plan. Yan. So, sa mga di pa po nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na po tayo. At ihit ang notification bell para updated po tayo lagi sa ating mga edu vlogs. So, ang ating topic ngayon ay converting common units of mass measure. So, mathematics ulit po tayo para sa ating objectives. Content standards, the learner will demonstrate understanding of conversion of time, linear mass and capacity measures and area of square and rectangle. For our performance standards, the learner is able to apply knowledge of conversion of time, linear mass and capacity measures and area of rectangle and square in mathematical problems and real life situation. So for our learning competencies or our objectives, So, it dito tayo magpo-focus, convert common units of, co of measure from larger unit to smaller unit and vice versa, kilograms to grams. So, for our code, M3ME 4B39. So, for our objectives, for cognitive, convert common units of measure from larger unit to smaller unit and vice versa, kilograms to grams. For our psychomotor, write solutions to problems correctly. And for effective, practice teamwork in the activities. So, our content is converting common units of mass measure. So, what are the learning resources? For our teacher guide, pages 351 to 354. Learner's material pages 302 to 306. So, pwede rin tayong kumuha ng other learning resources from textbook and also from LR portal. So, for our integration, education sa pagpapakatao. So, magagamit rin tayo ng other learning resources, kagaya ng PowerPoint presentation, video clips, songs, weighing scale, real objects, pictures, and illustrations. So, dumako na tayo sa ating procedure. Una, tayo ay magre-review. Yan. So, bago tayo magreview sa math, kailangan natin ng drill. So, they will find the product. So, A, they will find the product. And for letter B, they will find the quotient. So, napakadali lang. So, sa review naman natin, review about conversion of liter to milliliter. So, may mga questions dyan. How many many milliliters are there in 1 liter? How many milliliters are there in 5 liters? 4 liters. So, sa pagre-review, pwede tayong gumamit ng mga roleta, lucky picker name, yung dahat, para sa pagtawag ng mga uh, ng mga bata, para makita natin kung sino talaga yung natuto nung previous lesson. So, isa sa mga technique yan pwede natin gawin. Next, establishing a purpose for the lesson. So, yan. Kakanta ang ba nga bata ng bahay kubo. So, may integration ka na agad ng music. So, then after that, you will ask what vegetables are mentioned in the song. So, do you eat vegetables? Which vegetable mentioned in the song do you eat? Why do we need to eat vegetables? So, Pwede rin pala to sa health, di ba? So, maraming integration. Next, so, show the following pictures and let pupils give the reading shown on the weighing scale. So, yan. So, dito sa number 2 natin, sa ating motivation, pwede rin natin itong gawing pa-puzzle. Kapag ito, ay, so, meron tayo dapat na tatlong puzzle dyan. So, paunahan, yan ang mga gusto ng bata yung more on games. So, once na nabuo na nila, pwede na tayong magtanong dyan sa pictures na nakita nila. So, pwede tayong magtanong. So, what pictures do you see on the puzzle? Ganon. Next, presenting examples, instances of the new lesson. So, magpe-present na tayo ng examples. So, you will show a kilo of apple and 1,000 grams of sayote. So, pwede tong real object talagang. Pwede kang mag- uh, mag-provide ng kiluhan sa kanang mga prutas at gulay. Yan. So, tatanungin na which is heavier, a kilo of apple or 1,000 grams of apple. So, how do you know what instrument will you use to determine the mass of an object? Ayan na. So, magkakaroon na tayo ng malayang talakayan dyan. Next, sa discussing new concepts and practicing new skills, 
I do. So, individual to. So, weigh the apples and read its mass by grams. And then, by kilograms. So, do the same with the sayote. As which is heavier, a kilo of apple or 1,000 grams of sayote. Why? So, after nyan, meron ka mga follow-up questions na sasagutin ng mga bata. Yan. Pagkatapos nyan, yung mga bata, halimbawa, ay... Pinagdala mo sila. Pwede silang pagdalahin ng mga up, ng mga fruits and vegetables. So, bring out some vegetables and fruits and let the pupils identify each. Yan. So, pwede to na magkaroon ng group activity. Tapos, dun sa group activity, after nun, mag discussion ulit between pwedeng yung reporter ng kada group. Yan. So, ayan yung mga tanong na sasagutin nila. Next, we do. Yan. So, let the pupils answer the problems, discuss their solutions, and answers afterwards. So, each group, magsasagot sila ng activity A and B. Yan. So, sa developing mastery, ayan magkakaroon tayo ng game. So, the teacher will conduct a game with the pupils. Each member of the five groups will get a cut out of a fruit vegetable in the tree cut out. So, they will answer each question written on the cut out by converting the indicated unit of measure, kilograms, to grams, and vice versa. Yan. So, madali lang yung game natin. Next, finding practical applications of concepts and skills in daily living. So, you do. So, divide the class into five groups. The leader of each group will get a cut up of a fruit inside the basket and then and they will answer the activity written on it. Yan. So, kung mapapansin natin sa mga activity natin, halimbawa sa papaya group, they will draw where the arrow on the scale must go, then write its equivalent mass in grams. So, sa activity natin, sa group activity, tandaan natin na ang bawat bata ay hindi magkaka-level. Yan. So, dapat mag-set tayo ng mga activity na may mga level of difficulty. So, pwede siyang easy, uh, very easy, super easy. Ganon. Yan. Sa manga group, fill in the blank. Sa banana group naman, tingnan nyo, oh. Uh, yun lang gagawin. Sa guaba group, answer the following. Sa coconut group naman, make the scale balance. Yan, di ba? So, yung activity natin, group activity, iba-iba yung gagawin ng bawat bata. Kasi iba-iba talaga level nila. Yan. So, making generalizations and abstractions about the lesson. The teacher guide the pupils to generalize as follow. So, pwede tayo dito, magpaawit tayo ng bahay kubo sa isang basket. May mga real fruits doon. Tapos, kung kanino yung mahinto, kung wala na, stop na yung kanta. Si bata A, nakako, sa kanya na hinto, kumuha ng saging. Doon sa saging, mayroong question. Yun, sasagutin niya. Yan, after nun, kung may three questions ka lang, so, pwede tayo mag-generalize ng lahatan. Yan. Tapos, sa evaluating learning, convert to the indicated unit of measure. Yan. So, madali lang. Dapat, uh, since, ang, ano, ay, mayroong oras, ang COT, prepare na natin to. Now, dapat parang, pa-answer sheet. Yan. So, sa ating additional act, tapos, after evaluation, mag-check, isulat sa blackboard kung ilan yung naka-5, 4, 3, 2, 1, para makuha natin yung percentage kung ilan yung nakapasa at di nakapasa. Yan, additional activities, ang ating assignment at ang ating reflection. Yan. So, dyan na po nagtatapos ang ating uh, pag-aanalisa sa isang banghay aralin. So, maraming maraming salamat po. Keep safe and God bless.